tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement but what you have to understand is it's not engaging his opponent on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knee, the elbow. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 180 pounds. Fighting in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, Super. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Iron! All right, commit the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Big ball for punch man. Now he gets back in range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Real nice body kick there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, connects with the one-two. Just out of range with that right hook. Clean with the right hook. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. 
Right hand upstairs. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, huge kick to the body. Oh! Under two minutes now to go in round one. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Great punch. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he hurt it bad with a jab. Blocks the shot. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Punch over the top. Gets the elbow up into the target. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Round two is a okay, bonus. Your round thoughts two. on round one, right. Shane? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Big kick land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Just out of range with that left hook. Splits the guard, lands the right here. Oh, spinning back fist. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, man. You jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Try to establish that jab. Just unable to quite find that range. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Plus right hand is true. 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big punch land. Ooh. Goes back to that left kick once again. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Great punch landed with so much power. Caught the kick. Switching stances here. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Big kick lands. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mix in his looking. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, huge block. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice strike. Oh! There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always see it, Nick's coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Beautiful right kick. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not great. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, 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 this fight's going to be over, What a great way of mixing up his attack. He 
didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Big leg kick land. Punch is blocked. And he switches to southpaw. And they separate. Nice counter right hook there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you've got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You've got to get the elbow to the side, because otherwise, he's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Oh, man, head kick lands. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Two minutes to go. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice straight punch. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Beautiful knee. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Can't take many of those, you better check. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Let's get going now. Let's get going. Oh, what a jump. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. That's right. He's winning the slugfest. That's the type of fight he wants. And let him think this left. All right, next round getting underway here, and both That's fighters right, still look pretty fresh to me. Clearly, DC, they put in the right work when it came to the cardio during training. They both have reputation for vast cardio. You see in the training that they do at their gyms that cardio is key, and you watch it in the way that these two fighters perform. Straight punch lands. Lands with the right hand. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Whips on the straight right hand. Liver kick. Look at the turn in that kick. Now to go in the fight. Missed with that right hand. There's the kick, it's blocked. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. 
got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Goes down again. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blocked. he gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Back to the feet now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Ah, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Nice punch there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Head kick lands. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. What a fight! All right, the official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Iron. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.